this is the weather forecast video for Monday, June 11th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, a complex or several complexes of showers and thunderstorms from western Ontario through Minnesota, Iowa into northeastern Kansas with some clouds over the south and east and some over Montana and the northern Rockies. The watch warning map from a little bit before midnight, some freeze warnings and frost advisories across Colorado, Nevada, up into Oregon, and outside the flood watch along the Florida Panhandle and southeast Alabama, it's fairly quiet across the country. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 7 o'clock shows most of the heavy rain once again is along the eastern seaboard and the southeastern states with one to three inches of rain there. The rain over Iowa is the rain that's tonight into early tomorrow morning. And let's take a look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. There's the energy moving into Canada with a bit of a, a dip in this area with a zonal flow from here westward. And the frontal system will be moving out of the state very early this afternoon or even this morning. Showers and thunderstorms along that down into Missouri and Oklahoma. They steal everything, I think. And across the southeast, the rain there continues into Tuesday with rain up into the New England states, down along the Gulf Coast, down into Oklahoma and Texas. Around here, it'll be much drier, cooler. Highs in the 70s to lower 80s here for Wednesday. Winds begin to switch back around to the south as the high moves off into Michigan. Rainfall moves back into the plains from the Dakotas, Nebraska, down into Kansas and Oklahoma, but not around here. Thursday, the GFS wants to bring some rain around. Well, we're kind of a bit pessimistic on that with the dry weather around, so we'll probably say if there's going to be rain, it'll be slight, if any. And Friday, there will be some chances of rain or maybe a few thunderstorms across the Dakotas, Minnesota, and also across the Gulf Coast, as if they need any more, because they're having enough problems with the rain now. And even here into Saturday, to start off the next weekend, a couple of showers across the Dakotas, Minnesota, and also across the south. It'll be warmer by this point. Highs will be back up into the mid to upper 80s to near 90 again. And Sunday, the chances of rain look pretty pessimistic with the best chances of rain across the Dakotas and Minnesota. There is The GFS does paint some rain around, but maybe 20% or less at best. And a week from today, next Monday the 18th, a ridge over the south and east, trough over the north and west. We're right in the middle, and when the storms aren't being pushed along, they seemingly stall over the Dakotas and Minnesota and along the Plains states where there'll still be some rain around there and up into the Northern Rockies, some along the Gulf Coast. And around here, we'll get little, if anything. A couple days later, the 22nd, pretty much a bit of a ridge over the Southern Plains into Texas and a bit of energy across the western Great Lakes and into Ontario. There could be some rain there. Could come into our part of the woods, or our neck of the woods, and some more rain along the Gulf Coast of Florida. As if they need any more rain. We need the rain. Give us some. And at the end of the forecast on June 26th, there's that heat bubble once again across the Plain States and into the southwest with a pretty decent trough and low upper level feature over New England and over the northwest. And we'll have a storm system trying to ride around the heat bubble that could bring a shower possibly from the north and west at that time, but don't count on it, and this could change in future runs. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. I'll have another one on Tuesday.